Hey guys, all right, so today on uh, JDRC, we're going to uh, change the Red Cat 64 um, gearbox, basically, or transmission, to uh, chrome from the black. So, as you can see right now, stock black, and we are going to install the chrome version. So... Um, we're going to put on this nice shiny chrome. So let's do that. Thanks for watching JDRC, by the way. All right. So welcome to JDRC again. I'm Josh and we're going to, uh, hopefully do a quick video on putting this, uh, Chrome transmission box cover on the Red Cat 64. So let's get started. We'll flip it upside down. And it looks like we got some two, or uh, 2.5 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter hex drive screws on there. Hold the transmission. Uh, but first, uh, there's a set screw there in the uh, drive shaft. So let's get the Drive shaft linkage back out here. We'll go with that it's loose there. Let's see if we uh, loosen that set through. So let's see if we pull this up. Can we slide that back in on? No, well, maybe not. Okay, so it looks like we're going to take the linkage out completely. So let's spin this guy around and... And I'm using MIP drivers and an <clears throat> um, electric screwdriver. Just a little faster than trying to do it all by hand, in my opinion. I'm going to put that up far enough. go all right so we can release that side and this drive shaft usually comes apart in two pieces uh, maybe I need to back this out a little more there we go all right so we'll put that back together so we can get it back in the same spot when we get it lined back up Set that off to the side. Now, looks like there's a, looks like you have four screws holding the motor in underneath. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna pull those out. Those are two and a half millimeter hex, hex uh, screws. And they are about a quarter of an inch long. And that one's gonna kind of bump on the bumper a little, or not the bumper, right on the exhaust a little bit there. All right, so four quarter inch, 2.5 millimeter hex screws out. Turn the sucker around. Let's drop this back down. Then, there's your motor. All right, and then it looks like you've got, it comes in, looks like three sections. So, let's start with the top section and work our way down, I suppose. So like I said, it's my first time, as it would be y'all's first time doing it, maybe, and, uh, so uh, it'll be a learning process for uh, us both, I suppose, here. And that's a little guy. Where's my tray? So let's take these two guys off. And 
Those are going to go to our top cover. So we're going to set those screws in our top cover over here on our tray. So that way we know where they go. All right. Sorry about that. Right. Get back to this. And then let's go to the next set, which looks like it's on the back side. And those three are larger. So those are that top two were 1.5 millimeter hexes. And looks like the bottom three are 2.5 millimeter hexes. So since that actually separates, let's go ahead and uh, put our chrome one back on top and that way because that's a whole separate section and that way we don't get too many different pieces laying around here and there so I'm put my little with my hex drawer at 1.5 there and we're gonna put the chrome top because that's just your uh, hanging gear cover and it's not actually taking the uh, transmission section apart, so. And those are on the front side. Get this started. And then the next one in here. Gotta make these screws so tiny. It's like, all right, my screws are a bit big. <clears throat> started and uh, you know I like this electric screwdriver I have it has uh, three settings so you can turn the torque down on it a little bit I usually put it at about two um, sometimes I put it at three when I'm backing some of the screws up because they can be pretty stout um, okay so we got that chrome cover back on your two screws here and here that looks good this is going to be a whole separate piece so we're going to do that at a, separately here because that's pretty sure we're going to have to take the whole transmission apart, swap gears and all kinds of fun stuff I'm sure so that's going to be a whole different beast and I'm sorry the video is long but I, you know, I'm not good with all the fast forwarding, video editing, that kind of thing so, uh, you know, just kind of skip through if you need to but alright, those three screws are out from the back side. Um, and there's your transmission box there. Let's set that motor over there and let's slide this, uh, let's get these pieces here. Slide this car back a little and hopefully y'all will be able to see me working on this. All right, so we got our three big set screws there. Or uh, not set screws, I'm sorry, rather, but mounting screws for the motor mount. And then it looks like it's just uh, two pieces holding this gearbox together. They're probably got like pins or something. All right, so let's see here. We've got a front and a back. Obviously, this is our back side, and this is going to be our front side. So let's dive into it. So you got two screws here that are a 2.5 millimeter hex as well. At the same time, we can kind of check and see what kind of uh, <laughs> grease they put in these. Sometimes the uh, Sometimes Red Cat uh, doesn't put a whole lot of grease in their cars. I've, I've got a drift car and um, I've also got a, uh, uh, I gotta turn that up a little bit. I um, also have a Kaiju and uh, I've had to fill the diff boxes, the diff cases with uh, oil because they only came, you know, with just enough to fling around. And so I had to, Take those apart and I'm glad I did because it's probably burned up. Alright, so we're gonna pull this top off very gently. Oh yeah, see they got some grease in there. Okay, it looks like some of the gears stayed and some of the gears didn't. So that being said, this looks like fun. <laughs> That's kind of like a puzzle. So let's uh see here. This looks like this one just comes gonna kind of slide out here. Your top gear. Mine came out in two pieces. As you can see, there's some gears here and some gears here. So I'm going to just try and... There's bearings on there too, so just watch for your bearings. Luckily, 
Um, get you some diff grease or diff oil if you need it. There's a bearing on that side too. Let's see if we can. There we go. Coax that guy out of there. Put him back on this side. Oh well. Okay, we're going to put him in the case. Luckily for these things, they don't need a whole lot of oil. Like I said, uh, you know, you're low riders, you're not really jumping around. You're not really, you know, you're not really, you're just mostly hopping it. You're not really racing the thing. So it's not, it's not like it needs a ton of, you know, gear oil in it. Okay, so that's those two. I don't see anything else in there. Then we're going to take this guy and flip it over so it matches up. And this one's stacked on top of that one. So we're going to pull... This guy out first, and there's a bearing in there, so make sure you get your bearings out. Don't lose your bearings. Don't forget your bearings. All right, we got that guy in there. Then this guy's on the bottom. There's a bearing in there too. Let's get him out of there. Gently. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's drop him into place there. Push him down in there. Okay, so now we got this guy here. And he does not have a bearing in the bottom. Looks like he just sits in that hole there. And then this guy's going to go back over top of him, gear meshed in. There we go. And we're lined up there. Okay, so, got all that. Now let's see if we can kind of just tip them to the side. And Actually, I'm going to put a little gear uh, oil in there. Just so I know it's going to stay lubed. And I've got, uh, you know, I, I, I have this for my racing vehicles. Um, and my Kaiju and whatnot, but this is uh, what is this MR33? Yeah, so this is a MR33 racing. Oh, that's what I use 100,000. Um, I'm just gonna put a couple dabs in there just to keep the gears lubed. I'm not gonna go crazy with it like I would when I put it in my infraction or anything like that. But I do want to, uh, you know, keep the gears somewhat lubed, so that should fling around in there more than more so than what they had in there, anyways. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna put this transmission case back together. We're just gonna kind of. Wiggle kind of just gently wiggle it around until we get it pushed back together. There we go. All right. Still nice and smooth. Feels good. Let that lube move around in there a little bit. And then we'll put our screws back in here. There are two holding screws down at the bottom. Two that hold it together mainly that we took apart. And those are some tight screws, just FYI. Partially because the chrome plating they put on these sometimes get in the screw holes and it <clears throat> it doesn't help, you know, them to thread. Plus they're not pre-threaded, so you know it's gotta make its own threads into the plastic, so uh, I recommend using a, you know, like what I've got, low power electric screwdriver, doesn't over torque them and strip them, it doesn't mess up your plastic, you know, it's just, works good. So that's that. So that's done now, it's now we'll put it back on the motor, line everything up and uh, put everything back together.
So that just went right back in there, easy peasy. Like I said, these screws here are gonna have to basically make their own threads again, so into this new chrome. So that's gonna be, um, you know, a little difficult to get those in if you don't have an electric screwdriver um, starting out, you know, it's gonna be, it just makes process a little quicker for, so I, I mean, I definitely recommend getting one. Um, the one that I use, actually, I don't even remember the name. It was, it's honestly just off Amazon. You can just, um, let's see what the bottom says. Oh, it's a Hoto, H-O-T-O, -O, 3.6 volt cordless screwdriver. So very low voltage, 3.6 volts, you know, you don't, you don't need, you know, impact wrench to, impact screwdriver just to put on some gears and stuff, so. All right, so that's it, man. And look at that, nice, shiny. Some guys don't care because they cover theirs up with a whole, in, you know, internal body, you know, but if I do, if I do a interior on mine, I'm actually thinking of cutting out around um, the motor just to show the chrome, because I mean, why, why put it in there if you're gonna cover it up, I feel, but. All right, set your motor back on there. Now this part will be a little tricky because you gotta to hold your motor in there and put your four screws back in, same time. So luckily these uh, MIPs, I don't know if they're magnetic, um, probably not, I'm not sure, but if they're not, uh, my screwdriver head itself is kind of goes through the body. And these I'm just gonna kind of gingerly start and get them all four lined up first before I go and torque them all down that way. If I have any movement, I don't unalign my holes. No, looks like there's anything, there it goes. I thought it was magnetic, apparently not, because it's not grabbing the screw out of the hole. So, I guess they're not magnetic. They maybe it just holds on really good. Okay, got those two started. Let's go over to these two. And uh, the muffler being in the way a little bit, you know, you just gotta kinda, instead of taking the whole muffler off, you just get around it a little bit, you'll be fine. I can, I can squeeze the screws in around it, so I'm sure you can. And I'm just, like I said, I'm not tightening all these down yet. Leaving the motor a little loose, so that way they all kinda line themselves up first before I start. Torquing them all down. And once I get them all, okay, now I think I got them all, so. Set that lighter. Make sure everything's snug. Yep, looks good. All right, let's switch back out to a 1.5 millimeter driver. Sorry, this video is going to be like 20 minutes. Um, so we're going to put these back in. So let's pull our. Actually, we can probably just slide this back on. Line up our motor shaft there. And there we go. Go ahead and set this guy. Okay, that set screws in there. And then I'm gonna turn this so it lines up with the top dead center. Gonna lift them up. 
lift it up so you have room to get your shaft back on there. And then you might have to kind of align it. There we go. All right, and that's it. Done and done. I still want to get this in the drive shaft in chrome. Maybe. I might do a drive shaft in chrome or I might. I, I'm still customizing my rig. <clears throat> I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm gonna do mine a um, <clears throat> different color. So I may paint out the color I'm going to do. Mix it in. I'm not giving it away yet because, uh, yeah, it's not done. So there's a few things done. There's the motor done. Thanks for watching JDRC guys, I hope this helps you. Have a good one.